that mysterious land known as the Near East, a forbidding place of steaming jungles. A land of arid deserts, where slave caravans still travel by night. A realm of strange and ferocious animals. The home of wild and primitive natives, as savage as the beasts of the jungle. An untamed people who perform weird and mystic rites. And the domain of the fabulous Captain Africa, mystery man of the jungle. A strange being whom the natives fear, yet worship. Thought by some to be merely a legend, by others to be allied with the forces of evil. At a near eastern seaport, not far from the jungle's edge, The ship is being loaded with captive animals to supply the menageries of the world. Nat Coleman, famous animal trapper, respected for his kindly handling of the jungle beasts. seen running away. Perhaps he caused the accident. Where'd he go? That way, to the street. A strange man went in pursuit of him. two men who ran this way. They may have done me much harm. If that is so, it is the will of Allah that I tell you which way they went. Where then? Into that narrow lane. I'm looking for a man. He went in there. You're mistaken. I'm going to take a look inside. No.
Why did you run away? My thanks, worthy one. Did you cause that cage to fall? No. It was done to kill me. Why? That I cannot tell you. You don't expect me to believe that wild yarn. Perhaps it's true. What's wrong, Omar? You're Nat Coleman, aren't you? Yes. My name's Arnold. Ted Arnold. Omar works for me. If he's in a jam, I want to know it. Well, he, I caught him running away from the ship after that accident. He claims it was caused to kill him. Well, that fits. Fits with what? Things like that have been going on ever since I hired him. Go back to the compound. You're still under my protection. Let's sit down somewhere and talk this over. Suits me. You're from the police? Not exactly. Then perhaps the colonial intelligence. No. Here. Maybe this will help you. I might have known. We're all interested in keeping the world at peace, though some of the nations do not interpret the words as we do. That's true, Nat. Now, what about Omar? I let him go so abruptly because you can't get anything from him by questions. He says only that his lips are sealed by a holy vow. I've run up against that sort of thing before with the Arabs. I could use some help if you're in a spot to give it. Well, that depends on the Omar story. If you feel free to tell about it. I'd be glad to share it with somebody. Frankly, I've run up against a blank wall. When can we get together? I'll at the Sangabore Club, 9 o'clock. Suits me.